Well, what is it? Linear tracking turntable from the 80s. Well, it's certainly from the 80s, but uh, alas, it's not linear tracking. <laughs> well, not really much of a alas. Just as uh, the Amstrad tower system I have is uh, purporting to be a stacking system, but ain't. This is the same sort of thing. Uh, there's the giveaway, you see. But it is in remarkably good shape. All the pots in it were crackly, and uh, the motor made a hell of a noise when you switched it on. Sort of streaming sound, because the bearings were just as dry as bones. Very, very basic set. Headphone plug in the middle there, and uh, some sort of weird schematic like they, they were so uh, fond of. The power switch actually turns the AC mains off and on, instead of running the um, low tension side, as it were, the output side of the transformer. And you have three sliders, very basic, volume, tone and balance, and that's your lot. This didn't come with the speakers, so I've no idea what they look like. And the cartridge, I think, takes the same needle as a modern crapophone, or one of those USB turntables, or uh, nostalgic music centres, whatever you want to call it. I call the whole thing crapophones, the whole range. Now, just like the tower system, you start it by selecting a speed rather than moving the arm. And you've got your Q slider there. Now, whether I'll hit the right spot, I don't know, because I haven't got my glasses on. Not a bad sound, the record's a bit crackly, I'm afraid. And then you secure the arm like that for transportation. And switch the switch back to off. It only plays LPs and uh, 45s as well. In the middle of the turntable there's a built-in adapter so you can play those old 45s that were on jukeboxes. Pops up and then slides away like that. Turntables belt driven from a little DC motor, uh, oiled the bearings, and all seems well. On the back is a five pin DIN plug in the usual 80s or early 90s style. For in and out, uh, two two pin DIN plug speakers, and of course the mains lead. Notice how much they still use uh, hardboard and chipboard in this. 
If this was now, they'd make the whole thing out of plastic. But uh, in those days, they still had a little bit of pretend wood, shall I say. It even came with the uh, needle garb, stylus protector, call it what you will. Um, as I say, I think the actual stylus itself is the same one that they use on the modern crapper phones. Couldn't swear to it, but it looks like one, doesn't it? Because the arm swings back as far as it does, though, they haven't been able to make the uh, little handle on there as long as they ought. And, uh, that's a bit of a pain when it comes to getting hold of the thing and dropping it down the record. Best to use this uh, up and down feature. So there you are, the RP33, another one of uh, Lord Sugar's products. <clears throat> Neighbour was telling me that uh, they still haven't moved those gypsies at uh, Basildon, and then he was telling me that. Um, some people he knows have a shed that they've set up as a, uh, well, guest room for ones of a better word in the garden. And, uh, anyway, the councillor come along and say, Oh, you can't do that, ducky mucky, you need planning laws and all this crap. I'd tell them to go and screw themselves. You know, if it's good enough for jippos to do whatever they bloody well please, and it seems that it is, anybody else dilly hallying about like they have been, would be uh, in a great deal of shit, I suspect, because, of course, the average Joe in England and the average Josephine won't uh, complain about it all too much, will they? You know? God, dear, makes you bloody sick, doesn't it? <laughs> Talk about one law for them and another law for us. Well, it's our culture, isn't it? Nicking stuff and leaving rubbish everywhere, isn't it? <laughs> uh, hmm, I know what I'd do. Anyway, see you soon.